in version 10.08 of both OpenBridge Modeler and OpenBridge Designer, there's been a significant set of tools, uh, new tools in included with this, and those are the Pro Concrete tools. Uh, we have all of the bar placement tools here uh, that are also included in Pro Concrete at no cost to you, a current user of either OpenBridge Modeler or OpenBridge Designer. So all the all the bar placement tools, whether they're uh, for the simple solid shapes, uh, the single uh, rebar sets and rebar distributions, the irregular dispatch, the face-based modeling, every single bar placement tool is here and available for you to use. We can also perform uh, what is called positioning, where we go through the process of numbering and marking all the bars and also manually uh, or overriding the manual uh, bar marks with, with some other bar mark on those bars. And then we can also do some rebar modification uh, as well. Now in addition to that, not only have we included all of these uh, tools from the Pro Concrete software, we have also added the ability that if you have designed uh, reinforcing in LeapBridge Concrete, uh, for your substructure. Uh, we can bring that footing uh, reinforcing back here into the OpenBridge modeler file as pro concrete bars and, and they will be recognized as such. So in this version we can bring that reinforcing uh, from LeapBridge Concrete back into OBM and to do that uh, we use the uh, LeapBridge Concrete tool uh, update option and we tell it to go ahead and import and update all of the uh, reinforcing in the model. We go ahead and select OK and what that will do is we'll go ahead and take the bars as designed in uh, LeapBridge Concrete and bring those back to uh, the, uh, the uh, OBM model here. And we can see that the bars have been added to the model here. Uh, we can go in and um, go to, a, let's say, a wireframe mode and select those bars and make changes to them as needed as well. So once I double click on the bars, it brings up a list of all the bars that were added uh, to this footing. And I can go in and make any changes I need to either maybe the number of bars or the bar size, although they should be designed fine. But I can also go in and add uh, in conditions to any of these bars as well. So uh, at the starts or end of these bars I can add let's say bins and hooks uh, to any of those and uh, have those represented here uh, immediately in the model. Now also if we start to make changes to uh, the model if I move uh, let's say the entire pier or if I just come in here and I uh, select this pier and I change the size of the footing uh, by going into my uh, substructure tools here and telling it that I want to edit this substructure template and what I could do is I can come here to the uh, footings tab and select maybe a different size for this footing so maybe I say no let's uh, make this maybe uh, 10 by 10 footing instead of 9 by 12 so we'll change the size in both directions, select OK, and that will force an update to the model of not only the footing concrete, but also the reinforcing uh, within that footing. So again, keep in mind you do have, uh, again, all of the Pro Concrete uh, bar placement tools here where you could go ahead and continue to uh, further detail uh, the rest of this pier very quickly by using the column and beam reinforcing tools here to add reinforcing to the column and cap and uh, and then go ahead and do the positioning process and have it identify all those bar shapes and uh, compute for you the lengths of all the bars and, and the weight of all those bars as well.